Hey, what's up here? We're here at King's Table. Another exciting episode and, coming at you. Yeah, and today we're going to go over why I'm too Lego Jet to quit. Yep. Now you know so, why. uh... What do you got for us? Well, at first I got to talk about, like, so I've been doing Lego my whole entire life. First of all, my whole life has been, most of my income has probably went towards Lego. As far as, like, a tangible item. Right. As far, like, I mean, I got into comic books and toys mm -hmm. when I was in high school and, like, junior high and stuff. But, like, it was still, like, just Lego. Like, I just always wanted Lego. Like, Christmases, birthdays, just anything. Just Legos, Legos, it's Legos. expensive, though. Yeah, but then it's also, like, then after I got older... Then I was like, starting to like, oh, I don't want all the Legos. I just want like the medieval like knights and Vikings and mm -hmm. all those cool ones. And so that's what's been like, especially as an adult, like having my own income and like spending it all the way I want to. Like, I just like the fantasy Legos, and that's just, yeah. like my that's like my niche. It's like my thing. So, so how'd you feel when Lego canceled? It? Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. I gotta be like really weird what I say, but it's like you know the like. <laughs> When something happens and you like your butt gets hurt, but your it's like the two weeks go by and it's like, oh, that, that my butt's not hurt, but it's sore. <laughs> it's like it's like that where it's like I wasn't butt hurt, but like it was sore. It was. <laughs> so, but like yeah, Lego discontinued my most favorite line ever, all the castles and stuff, the and they did replaced it with Nexo Knight, which is I'm completely disappointed. The accessories with. are cool. They're just too. They're not. They're just like. Not there's too future to mm -hmm. really fit in with what I want to do, which is fine. So I was gonna go over some of my badass minifigures. That's what this new cat segment's called, called badass minifigures. And once a week, we're gonna focus an episode of King's Table on just badass minifigures. Yeah. And so I want to start out with some of the latest ones. You see, those Disney's came out with mm -hmm. some uh, the mystery bag ones. Mystery bags now. And so. Things? I don't buy any Lego sets, so most of what I get now are just only those mystery packets, but I get multiple figures and just use accessories from them to make other figures. Which they should uh, know by now if they've seen some of our like vlogs over to Toys R Us where we hit up some of the uh, the brick arms aisles yeah. and whatnot. So you should have seen some of that. If you haven't, go check out those videos. We may even put up some yeah. so quick blurbs here. I was going to show you when the pan figure came out. I was like, yes, I want that pan figure because I wanted to use his ears to make Link. I want to make a female version of Link and just elves just in general. It's pointy ear people. And so I made some of these. <laughs> I brought some in to see. Jesus. This uh, is, I put it on a dinosaur because I thought it's cool, but this is my female version of Link. Uh, you can see it has the body of Terra or what's her name from Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can't remember her name. She's not even in the books. Uh, that, so she has her knife, and I just used her, took off her head and put the pan's head on it, and then that's that figure. Mm -hmm. And I like to put the bows on their legs and then put one of these brick, uh, what is it, brick forge uh, ammo packs on their hips. Yeah, yeah it's like those World War Two. Yeah, packs. and it, it, it fits for, like, pouches, too, yeah. for what oh, I'm yeah. using it for. The backpack, too, that's awesome. Yeah, that's also yeah. brick forge, and I used yeah. this. Stuff to, like, make it... I just, like, try to imagine, like, a person in that era would, wouldn't just have a shield and a sword in their hand when they go into battle or going on an adventure. So I just try to, like, imagine, use my imagination to be like, oh, if they're going on an adventure, they're going to have a pack, they're going to need food, they're going to need, like, medicine. She's going to have a flute to play when she's bored or to summon a dinosaur. <laughs> she's going to have, like, a sword. She's going to have a dagger. She's going to have a backup sword. She's going to have bows and arrows. And so yeah. that's, like, my... Thought process when I go into making some of these figures. I haven't seen anybody put the uh, quivers on their uh, the, the belts before. Yeah, that's so cool. that's kind of new. And I started doing that when they had these ammo packets, when they had where you could put two things on there. And it's yeah. just, I mean, it gives it just more accessories, more depth, more detail, and that's makes them look cooler. Well, it makes them look cooler. More badass. More badass, right? And then <laughs> so I wanted to just use a pan. This is a pan figure. I changed the head to make it more uh, angry, mm -hmm. and I use these. See, this is what I didn't want to share with people because I haven't seen anybody <laughs> do this. I use these uh, packs. You see them like on Stormtroopers sometimes. They, they're just yeah. a really unique piece to Lego. It fits on their head and they have a peg on the back. And then you use these pegs. They have those clip pieces on there. And you just arrange them in there and put them back Why? We, why don't you want to share that? Because then everybody's going to start copying me and then so? all my figures are, I won't be as cool because then everybody's just going to do it. But no one, if no one sees it, then... Yeah, I know. No they, know this it. is 
for me. Like, I could collect Legos for me, not did, to share. And so, did you paint that? No, I painted that because it was... Uh, Ooh, is that sacrilegious? Oh, man. I, I used spray paint, though. The coat's Ooh. really smooth. And it was like a... I could tell by the paint that it was one of those uh, island pieces shield, one of those islander Yo, shields. Yeah. And I was like, man, that's <laughs> dumb. And so I just painted it brown yeah, all right. with Montana gold spray paint. Montana gold. Montana, the best spray paint ever. And so this is just, a, I thought I'd try to make a link, but it's just a pan figure with just more accessories added mm -hmm. on. And uh, if you use these brick forge, these are brick arms, swords. They fit on these round peg things. I don't know what these bricks are called, but they fit in there, and this is like a way to add an accessory. Yeah, that's a good way. I never would have thought of that. Right? Because you're not Lego Jit. <laughs> I am not Lego okay. Jit. I see you, you have a ton sitting here. Um, we're probably not going to have time to go through every single one of them, but we're definitely going to show you all of them. Uh, but why don't you pick out some like your favorite ones? Okay, that going so... Yeah, so when they come out a new line of like those minifigures, I just get like five or six, sometimes even a dozen of a certain, just one figure, just to take it apart and use accessories from it. And this is, I'll show you one faction that I use from the latest. This is from the, I think, miniseries like 11 or 12, and I can't forget, there's so many of them. Mm -hmm. But they had the shield with the bear, the shield, if you yeah. see this guy. I always try to keep one figure original, completely original, and I just leave that one alone. But then the other ones I take apart. And so I just put the mace and the shield on his back, put in one of those round pegs and gave him a sword. And of course put the quiver and then the ammo pouch on his waist. And gave him a brick arms, or that's a brick warrior bow, that long bow. Mm -hmm. Which I think they, they look pretty cool. Yeah. They have that extra detail on it that Lego doesn't do. Let's talk about this one. How'd you get the axe on there? Are they, uh, is that Brick Forge? No, the, this uh, is, the this spike? is, the spike is from the spike from the mini, the figure. This is, it came with the Lego. Really? Oh, I is, don't have that figure. That's one I'm missing. Oh, I yeah. haven't seen it before. Put them on the hand. So, so are these like cool. long off of any particular or, or just Not what the, you think is cool? This is just what I think is cool. Okay. But I do have figures that I get full pull from, uh, from like shows like Vikings, so I have a Ragnar mm -hmm. figure I don't have with me, but it's not. So there's inspiration. Yeah, there's inspiration there. definitely. If I see uh, an accessory that like reminds me of uh, like a different era or something, I just use that. For yeah. example, an, a samurai guy happens to be a druid because he has an instrument. He's oh. a druid samurai, and that just fell off. And so I just thought when that Shakespeare piece came out, when they did the uh, movie mini series yeah. came out, those came out, and I say had this. Uh, Bald. They had this bald thing. I was like, "Whoa!" I was like, "I could use that figure for like a samurai with a shaved head with his ponytail put down." Mm. And so then that's where that that's where I got that idea, and I made up a, a couple. I just brought in two today. I just grabbed a, a just two. Yeah, I, just, I got a bin. These random bins like this at home full of stuff, just and I just up. I just grabbed one, and this was what was in it. So you don't display these? No, they're, they're just they're in just they're in bins. What? Yeah. And so I just thought they looked like cool samurai, like a cool samurai headpiece. So that's what I used it for. I have like I have this whole medieval village going on. You'll see it eventually. Yeah, yeah I, I, you showed me pictures a few years ago. Like, <laughs> I've never seen it in person. Yeah, but so, there's some cool stuff. Yeah, so that's I've been just working because I've been disappointed with all the sets. So like I've just been buying custom pieces or like just getting right. stockpiling bricks that I use and just build just custom that. stuff. Yeah. A lot of what I use is from Star Wars because Star Wars does pull a lot of influence from samurais and stuff so a lot yeah. of their torsos to me look like they could be used for that era so that's uh for example this is a Ray figure and I just got it just because it was cloth and looked like it could it like it could have been like from that era mm -hmm. and I left her the same just gave her a Whose hair piece is that? That's Ray's. This is an original Ray figure, just added equipment. I don't recognize that that many loops in her hair. Really? That's the figure. I got this figure from you from this when I got that really? stupid uh that stupid uh, set. Had three quarter portions. Three, uh, I don't remember what that. Portions. I don't remember what that set up. The GameStop guy. <laughs> yeah. <but> <laughs> 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 no. Quarter portions. I was like, oh man, here's four PlayStation fours and. Here's like 80 video games, and it's like, uh, two two portions. <laughs> I was like, come on. It's like that. I saw a meme like that with Guitar Center. It's like, oh, four guitars, eight pedals, right? two amps, and it's like, oh, three-quarter portion. <laughs> it's like, come on. It's pretty bad. Come on, it's pretty bad. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, these are really cool. I, some of the backpacks and stuff that you were pointing out, I never would have thought of doing that. Yeah, That's because really you're not Lego Jig. I'm not Lego Jig. And this is like... 
Cool. So yeah, thank you for checking those out. I'm gonna have more every week. I'm gonna try to go over like the factions that I like to do when I take a figure and just like make a group of them, like yeah. variations. And uh, so it's gonna be more of that. I just grabbed the bin today just to get it started. All right. Well, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, we'll be on the lookout for more badass minifigures by Phil. No, bad. Lego jet. Yeah, we're a Toy Kings conglomerate. Toy Kings conglomerate. <laughs> Uh, all right, guys. Well, uh, make sure leave a comment below. Tell us what you want to see next. Like, well, let's see uh, what Lego Jit can make. If you want to see something cool, let him know, and we'll see. If yeah, and happen. if you like have, a, if you recommend like a fantasy book I haven't read that may have cool characters in it, like let me know. I'll yeah, go we'll pick it up and read it. We'll and make some cool figures out. Build of it, a structure so. out of it if I think seeing something cool. Yeah. If I think. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you next time. Yep. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe.